everyone in this video we will be discussing about the polymerization of nucleotides in our previous video we have discussed uh, what are the bases for nucleic acids such as nucleotides okay what is the composition and what are the commercial uses uh, commercial uses of those uh, nucleotides uh, we have already seen in this video we will be looking into the polymerization of nucleotides in making of dna and rna right so we have all studied in carbohydrates like uh, complex carbohydrates or oligosaccharides or in lipids okay and in uh, proteins what are the type of linkages are there to held all these monomeric units right so in carbohydrates we have glycosidic linkage okay in uh, lipids we have ester linkage okay in proteins we have peptide linkage similarly here the monomeric forms of nucleotides are held together by phosphodiester linkage okay and how this phosphodiester linkage is formed you see here in the picture what i have shown okay this is a base okay this is the first nucleotide okay and this is the second nucleotide okay as we are all aware to the sugar molecule base is attached at the first carbon and phosphate group attached at the fifth carbon right and third carbon of sugar is free okay oh group is there that means it can accept any other substance coming in their way so the below nucleotide at the fifth carbon is having phosphate group with its oxygen with its or hydroxyl group okay which is reacting with the hydroxyl group present in the third carbon of the first nucleotide and they remove water molecule they form a phosphodiester linkage so this way that means the phosphodiester linkage is making between third carbon of the first nucleotide i mean third carbon of the sugar of the first nucleotide and the fifth carbon attached the phosphate group which is attached to the fifth carbon of the sugar of the second nucleotide so that means third carbon and fifth carbon of the two sugar units so that means the phosphodiester linkage named as 3 comma 5 phosphodiester linkage okay pentose sugar of nucleotide attached by c3 to the phosphate of next nucleotide by phosphodiester bond and later is attached to the five carbon of pentose of next nucleotide okay this way these phosphodiester linkages are happen in between the nucleotides okay so that's why in dna rna you say the backbone of of these uh, molecules is phosphodiester linkage between sugar and phosphate okay to make a one strand this phosphate and sugar is required but to keep the two strands together bases play major role okay and phosphate you see here the bases we have thymine cytosine guanine adenine in case of dna we are talking because for us the genetic material is dna and in uh, some bacteria and in some viruses the genetic material sometimes virus so you all know hiv human immunodeficiency virus for them rna is a rna is a genetic material right so we'll discuss about dna only so here the complementary nucleo uh, nucleotide chain i mean how it is going to form okay sugar phosphate linkages which are going to be forming by asymmetrical backbone okay and then polarity of the chains that means the chain as we all uh, we all know dna is a double stranded one that means two strands are there so one strand is making a five prime end and the other strand is making three prime end so majority of the dna run from five prime to three prime direction okay which is very very important uh, in case of uh, DNA synthesis, this uh, sequential reading is very very important. Okay, and polymerization reaction is catalyzed by that means how uh, these uh, phosphodiester linkages are uh, forming and how the bases are adding. And these bases are adding based upon the enzymes direction that is DNA and RNA polymerases. If DNA is synthesizing, DNA polymerase will come to the action. It will add corresponding base. Okay. In that way if RNA is synthesizing RNA polymerase will come to the action and complementary base will be added uh, compared with the coding strand okay you see here in the picture 5 prime end and 3 prime end okay two strands one strand running in 5 prime direction to 3 prime direction okay the other strand is running 3 prime uh, direction to 
5 prime direction okay so that means totally opposite one uh, one strand is running in 5 prime to 3 prime okay other strand is running 3 prime to 5 prime opposite and coming to the structure of dna okay so dna is a organic uh, substance which is uh, uh, hereditary in nature that means the genetic information from the parents to offspring transport uh, transferred through dna okay so it is very important to know its structure 